we're going. Okay. okay. So we're standing here in front of a giant bottle of ketchup. Wow. Okay. So here I'm with Judy DeMoisey and and Mike Gassman. Sometimes people call me the big tomato. Yeah. It was built in 1949. Okay. And it was made to hold 100,000 gallons of ketchup or water. <laughs> Actually, it was the water tower that supplied water to the um, to the factory for fire protection and for ketchup production. Okay, well, okay. Right, because it was too much of a drain on the city water supply, so they had to build their own water tower. I see. Okay. And somebody came up with the awesome idea to make their water tower look just like one of their bottles. The bottle is 70 feet tall. Okay. And the tower's 100 feet. Driving over that hill, we're looking for the ketchup bottle. It's got to be coming, but then that thing hits you like right away. <laughs> yes, it's, it's huge. Yes, yeah. it's right in your face. You don't yeah. expect it to be that big. You don't expect it to be that big. No. <laughs> the company name was actually the GS Supergirl Company. That was the name of the family that owned the company. But the ketchup is actually the brand name of Brooks because. It was started by the Brooks Brothers back in the early 1910s. Oh, okay. So they had a very recognizable name. They had a really great product. So when the uh, Superger family bought the company, they retained the name of Brooks for the brand. So they, they still make Brooks ketchup? They do. And they sold Brooks all over the country. I mean, it was in Michigan. It was in Texas. I don't know what the boundaries were, east and west. Uh -huh. But it was so popular that um, people are still trying to order it today. Although it's not manufactured here anymore, it is a product of Canada. We get a lot of calls from people around the country that still want to get their Brooks ketchup. Yeah, so good. when we do have it in inventory, we do like to uh, uh, mail it around the country, ship, ship it, it all everywhere. Across the country. And so, what about the spelling of ketchup? Is that the is that how it's supposed to be spelled or pronounced? Right. Well, we all everybody in town says ketchup. Okay, but um, way back in the day. Uh, the C spelling was a lot more prevalent than it is now. And um, so it was very popular. Everybody was spelling it with a C. I mean, even way back in the day, Heinz ketchup was spelled with a C. Somewhere along the way, they changed it. And then as Heinz became more popular, more and more popular, the K spelling became the, the standard. So the ketchup spelling, I hate to report this, but Brooks Foods has even changed over to the K spelling. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's painful. Yeah, it's yeah. very painful. It's painful. Is the ketchup bottle, is it fiberglass or what's it, how's it made? Um, it is actually steel. It's a riveted steel water tower. They don't make them anymore. So it's, I mean, they're very hard. It would be impossible to reproduce this. Um, so yeah, it's very sturdy, structurally sound, and uh, it's not going anywhere, thank goodness. Yeah. So if you drilled, if you drilled a hole through that steel, you'd hit water. In 1993, uh -huh. the, um, the company that owned Brooks Foods at that time was selling again, and they were selling this property. And it was being used as a warehouse for Brooks Foods. But they, they, they took it all away, they were selling the property, and nobody knew what to do with the water tower. Because it had fallen into disrepair, and it was rusting, it rusty. And looking it not so good. Okay. So they were, there was talk about tearing it down. The ketchup bottle lady here. I moved to town and would have nothing to do with tearing it down. Right. Everything to do with saving it. So three months after moving here, I got busy and all these wonderful women uh, in the community that love the history of the community started helping. Many of them were already in their 70s and 80s. And I mean, we were quite the group and we did it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, raised uh, $100,000 to paint, get it painted. Uh, we had to sandblast and you know, go back to the original paint and uh, the original, and then uh, went back to the surface. original, yeah, surface, and then we uh, went back to the original design as well. Oh, okay. okay. So the 1949 label. You know how we did it? How's we that? sold every Saturday for two years. We sold T-shirts underneath the bottle. Oh. And we sold a thousand dollars worth of T-shirts every Saturday. Then we went to. Wow. And then we sold shirts in between and in the state of Michigan because they had a lighthouse uh, campaign, Save the Lighthouse campaign. They understood, so we probably sent two or three hundred t-shirts to Michigan and, you know, our orders. And they paid, you know, and it was really awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how we just sort of piled up all the money. And 
a few donations. I think our largest donation was five hundred dollars. So, oh, okay. so I'm not of, sure. Uh, I recommend that as the best way to right. raise money. Uh, however, right. however, we're not real hip on doing it again. Yeah. <laughs> what it did was it really there was a great deal of buy-in from the region, from mm -hmm. the community. So people would come by and get fifty cents, but that was all they had to give, and they were so grateful to be a part of it, and we welcomed them. It was all. It was great. So, nothing but good stuff. Uh, we've been doing this close to 30 years, and uh, we have a lot of fun with it. Mike does all Since the... Since 1993. Yeah, Mike does all, all the, the graphic design. And all the graphic design, all the promotion, all the all the social media, um, all that. So, uh, of course, we have uh, the Ketchup Bottle has a Facebook page and an Instagram and a Twitter feed. But um, if you really want to get on the Facebook page, you can see what the Ketchup Bottle really thinks because... I don't know how it does it, but the Ketchup Bottle actually types out the um, his his Facebook feed, and uh, it's really fun mm -hmm. to read sometimes. Okay, so, uh, so we can get the Ketchup Bottle thoughts. Yeah, yeah you okay. can get the he's so scoop right from very magical the Ketchup Bottle. bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Very magical. Yeah. We do sell souvenirs online or whenever there's a festival here in town, just to um, just to uh, pay for the website. Uh, Get more product and uh, keep the lights on, as they say. Right. Oh, they're yeah. going to be here for a while. It's pretty sturdy. We're always, yeah. yeah, it's pretty sturdy. We're always happy to welcome visitors, too. So. Yeah. Uh, thanks for uh, coming by, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Catch up. Good job. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Appreciate you sticking around to the end. If you want more Route 66 stuff, check out visiting66.com. Or I got a whole bunch of Route 66 content right here on YouTube.